So I'm loving my uh, Ender 2, but I, I actually ordered a Prusa i3 Mark III before my Ender 2 arrived, and well, wow, I'm loving this too. Um, you know, everyone's talking about how quiet this printer is, and it's certainly more quiet than the Ender 2 was stock, but the upgrades I've actually managed to do to the Ender 2 have made it quieter than the Prusa i3. This is it in its normal mode. And I will come in here to tune, and I'll turn it to its stealth mode. And you'll notice that it does indeed get quieter. And honestly, I think the largest change between normal and stealth mode, it's probably doing a stealth chop, but it clearly has turned down the accelerations because you don't hear those linear bearings going anymore. But I doubt the mic will pick it up. But if you listen real carefully, you can see the light strobing in the background for the hot bed. Um, when that hot bed starts drawing current, this power supply actually audibly ticks. Now, there's no mechanical moving parts in that power supply. So what it is, is it's some of the magnetics in there, the transformers for example, um, there, as the magnetic flux engages, it actually causes the, uh, the layered plates of metal in there to um, actually flex and click a little. So there isn't anything to be done about that other than maybe replace the supply. Um, but I'll show you my Ender 2, and honestly, the supplies I'm running on my Ender 2 now uh, because I don't want the loud fan, um, I can also hear that one's magnetics ticking too. So, can't really hold that against the Prusa too much. Um, it does come with the A4, uh, which is the 40 millimeter by 10 millimeter, uh, nice and quiet fan. But then you have this blower, and my wife says it sounds like a toilet's running somewhere, so... I'll have to see about that. Um, anyway, I'll show you my Ender 2 upgraded now. Okay, and my Ender 2, I have yet to replace the box. Um, the sound you're hearing is actually the filament spool vibrating. So that's what I have my Prusa printing as a spacer or a roller for my Ender 2. This guy's printing a bunny, but just listen. And this is my uh, 60 millimeter fan shroud. It is a beast. Um, I will probably iterate on this design a little bit to try to get some more clearance. It's really hard to inspect the first layer, but I do have my Ender 2 working with the TMC2130 drivers and MKS Gen 1.4 mainboard. Um, and she's nice and quiet. I seriously need to look at this printer to tell if it's running most times. Um, I am considering sharing how I got this set up. It did take me about a whole weekend. Uh, largely that was due to my first dive into Marlin and getting the stock LCD screen to work on the MKS was interesting. Um, what it boiled down to was the ribbon cable actually needs to be hooked up backwards um, because the power is on the wrong end and uh, then I did need to make changes to the Marlin firmware to basically add this display uh, to allow that firmware to support it. So I had to go through and get the pinouts on the display. Um, and to do that, I actually desoldered the display and I remounted it on a little uh, header and um, yeah, chased out all the pins. Um, I'll, I'll link to the data sheet in the description down below for the display. Um, well, I guess 
for my uh, handful of subscribers out there and any random visitors. If you're interested in learning how I did this upgrade, the MKS mainboard, um, the total cost was about $100 for the mainboard and the drivers, and the sub power supply was about $20. So all in all, I built a totally silent printer, quieter than the Prusa i3 Mark III for around 300 US dollars. Let me know below if you would like to know how I did it. Thank you.